our native woodlands play host to an incredible wealth of wildlife. Anya Murray of Birdwatch Ireland offered to meet me on the shores of Loch Derevara in West Meath to give me a sense of exactly how critical these habitats are. Well, the, the main stand of species here is Scots pine. So things like hawthorn and holly and mountain ash, they've got a lot of berries in the autumn. And they provide food for an awful lot of different birds and mammals, woodland mammals like mice and badgers and voles. And seed-eating birds and fruit-eating birds, you get flocks of siskin and redpole would come in in the autumn and they would clear some of these berries if you get a whole flock of them coming in in the autumn months. The trees themselves provide food source for the whole ecosystem here, but it's also all the small plants that are adapted to live on the woodland floor. And then we've got the leaf litter, and we have a whole load of different invertebrates would break down that leaf litter, like millipedes and, and things like that, and worms, and then birds would come and eat all of those invertebrates as well. Uh, so this is, it's not just the trees, it's everything that comes from the trees and all the nutrients that nourish the soil. So little creatures running along the bark here. Yeah, you'd have all sorts of invertebrates in here. Oh look, here's a little snail. Look at this fella. Gorgeous, that was hiding in the crevice there of the bark. Mm. There's a wood lice here as well, I just spotted. It's really important for biodiversity. There's a whole range of wildlife that depend on native woodlands. Uh, and we need more of them. At the moment, there's little patches here and there. They tend to be the ones that didn't get felled, like on, on really steep slopes, where it was just inaccessible for clearance uh, or in remote places. And it's very difficult for a lot of species to travel from one woodland patch to another because they're specially adapted to this kind of environment, this kind of sheltered woodland environment. So they won't travel across open farmland. So if we have more woods in the landscape, even if they're, they're connected up as much as possible, will allow wildlife to disperse and move throughout the landscape and hopefully improve some of the population levels. It would be wonderful to start getting that back again.